Hello everybody, it's Diana with stampingwithdye.com and I want to welcome you to this week's Dyes Shorts. And um, can you tell I've been cutting my own bangs? <laughs> I need to grow my um, sides out a little bit. So I was taught if you want to cut your own bangs, you like gather your bangs. Here there's like a tip you weren't expecting, but you gather your bangs and then you actually just kind of cut up like this with your scissors and then they're not like, you know how if you cut like this, then like this gets longer. So anyway, so I've just been like cutting my own bangs because they go out really fast. So there might not be the tip that you came for today, but that's the one that I'm dishing out right off the top. Um, so anyways, I want to thank you to this week's Dyes Shorts. My sister actually requested this one. My sister Jackie, she pops on. Um, she usually tries to pop on each time. She works from home, so she's not... There she is, my sister Jackie. Um, and um, so she um, requested this one. I love requests. And um, she wanted me to show a mirror card. So um, I'm like, challenge accepted. So um, I showed her quick. We did a Zoom yesterday, just the two of us. So I showed her quick um, yesterday, but I thought, hey, I'm gonna show everybody. So uh, let me turn the phone and we will get started. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. Let me make sure that is straight. And like always, I always do just quick business stuff at the beginning so I can get it over with and don't forget. Hostess code for April. This is April's hostess code. I would love for you to use that if you're placing an order in my store. Also, I talked about the other day, starting um, May 1st, you're actually going to get $30 more in your starter kit. So people are um, emailing me and they're like, I got my catalog, oh my gosh. So now's a perfect time to, um, hey Raquel, hey Jean, um, to get that catalog out and make your wish list and get that starter kit starting May 4th. Join my team. I'll be a little, um, what do you call that? I don't know what you call it. Um, biased? I think it's called biased. I have a pretty good team. I will admit that. And we have demonstrators all over the United States. Okay, don't forget the last chance products sale is going on. As well as the clearance rack refresh. And last but not least, I just announced this last night. So I have um, the DSP share um, signups is now started. So you can get the regular annual catalog designer series paper. And those are, um, you know, like the patterns. And let me see, do I have a piece of pattern paper? Um, no, this is from that thing. But this does have, like this is a petal, you know, things like that that have that go with um, stamp sets. And then I also have the in color and color family assortments. And those are these ones. So that's where you get um, the packets that show, that are the colors. And the um, patterns this year have changed and they're amazing. So here is one pattern. Here is another pattern. And of course, they would flip over and have something else, but I've got them glued down. So there's that. All right, so that is going on right now. So you wanna make sure you um, sign up for that. I will be, um, the, you have to let me know by April the 28th, and then I will send you the PayPal link. And then you have to um, pay by May 1st because I will be getting all that ordered um, May the 4th. So make sure, may the 4th be with you, right? Okay, so um, make sure you go to my blog or contact me here if you need more information in regards to that. Okay, so for the card that I'm using, I grabbed Shark Frenzy. Why did I grab Shark Frenzy? Because my sister asked me to do this. Um, 
she wanted me to show her how to do the mirror. And this is a stamp set that I had right ready um, at my fingertips. So that's why I chose it. And I love it so much and the card is so fun. All right, and then also has the die. So don't forget, these are not carrying forward. So you're gonna wanna make sure you grab them. All right, so what I'm also going to do before I get showing the mirror part, I want to prep my cardstock. So this is just a piece of basic white and it's um, five and a half, I believe so. Five and a half by four and a quarter. Hold on a minute. Hold on, un momento. All right. Yeah, five and a half by four and a quarter. So basically, it's just um, you're cutting your cardstock, you know, in half both directions. And it's just going to give you this. Because then you can trim it down and do something else you want with, like, with the real card. And then, do you know what's back? Da, 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 da. Um, so the blending brushes are back. So you want to make sure you grab those. I have quite a few and I've got two where the point is that quite a few of them. I'm just using my label doohickey and I'm having it have their own and then I don't have to worry about cleaning it and all that kind of stuff. Especially if I use a color quite a bit of times. I will just say, you know what? You earn your own brush. So today I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay. And I have my little grid sheet under there. And I'm just, because it might be off camera where you can't see it. But I'm just going like this just to ink that up. And I'm just brushing a little bit off here. And what I'm doing is I'm going around my edges. So I want my edges to be darker. So I'm just going to move it around, move it, move it, move it. All right. That's what we kept doing in the car yesterday. Eric got his second shot and I was just all the way back to work. Cause you know him, he had to go back. He had to go to work right after I'm like, you know what? If you want to take the day off, I'm such a bad mother. Nope. He wanted to go back to work. So I just kept saying, move it, move it. You've got to move it, move it. And he called me a bit ago and he's like, I am fine. I'm like, okay. Okay, my little baby. All right. So I'm just putting this Bermuda Bay around and I want this center to be lighter. So I want to have the center to be lighter. So I'm barely touching this, barely, barely adding any ink. Because I want it to look like it's like white in the center. All right, so I'm going to add just a little bit more on my edges. So I'm just kind of coming in, kind of like feathering that in there. So it's just a little bit darker on the edge. I love the brushes. All right. So yes, you can thank my sister for teaching you this technique. All right. So that looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to close my Bermuda pad. And so then what I'm going to do is I have, where is it? I have one of our, um, misting, misting. I don't even know what it's called. Oh my gosh. It's like a pump. You know, it sprays it, the, um, stuff out water. I have this one filled with alcohol. So I have it marked accordingly. I have one that I use with water and it is marked accordingly. So H2O. Um, but I want it to dry faster. So then I'm going to use the alcohol. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm just going to spritz my paper. So I'm just spritzing my paper. All right, so the alcohol dries pretty fast. So I've spritzed my paper. Now that magical fan that's underneath my desk, cooling my nether regions, because since I have the air conditioner off, I'm holding this in front of the fan, the Stampin' Spritz. Thanks, Simone. Um, so I'm just holding this in front of the fan, 
and that's just going to help dry it. Now I'm not going to wait until it all the way is dry because I did one earlier, but I just want to show you a little bit because that's the one that I just did. But it doesn't take super long because you did use alcohol and not water. All right, so see, can you see? Let me get it a little closer. So now you have all these little water kind of droplets um, going on. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna refresh and make sure it's not just me. All right, hang on a minute. All right, so can you see, there we go. So can you see where these little droplets are? So it's super, super cool. So it looks like the sea, like the underneath of the sea. If you use dark, 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 dark blue and do it, then they look like stars or planets. So anyways, so there is that. Now I'm not gonna use this one because even though it's alcohol, the paper's still a little damp and then my ink will bleed, right? So I'm just gonna set that aside and I'll use that. Um, for another one. All right, so this is the one I did earlier. So you can see, um, I did this one, the edges are a little bit darker, but you can see um, the same like splattery. Did I use the thick paper? No, Jackie, I just used the regular basic white. Um, I find that I'm a little more of a fan for the regular basic white when I'm coloring with my blends. If I'm using the, um, if I'm doing the card base, then I grab the thick. But we have, we changed to a basic white and I find that I like coloring on the regular more now than the thicker, because it seems like it's a little bit smoother. And that could just be me, you know, thinking that and I could totally be wrong, but so anyways, but this is just regular. So see, isn't that beautiful? So you can see all the splatteries. So you can never do them the same. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, so I tried it a couple different ways. So when I was jabbering with Jackie yesterday, I just, so you want your your, your silicone um, sheet. And I had just stamped on the silicone sheet, rubbed it on the paper, and then I just stamped beside it. But I wanted to have a little bit more control, you know me in control. Um, so, um, Let's see. Okay, so sorry. There's like a, a message coming through on the Facebook and I thought it was for this, but it's something else. So Jeannie, I'm gonna have to answer you like a little later. Okay, so um, so I had a little bit more control. How much alcohol is in the spritzer? Um, it's, tr it's pure alcohol, and so it's not like a mixed water and alcohol. So it's just pure alcohol. So I just, you know. Build it up. Okay. So I found I have more control if I used my Stamparatus. So Jackie, so this is a little bit different than I showed you yesterday. Okay. So what I've done is I put my shark on my Stamparatus plate and I'm inking it up with my memento. And then I'm going over here and, and doing that. But now what I want to do is I I want to do it one more time. One more time. All right. Then you're going to carefully lay your paper over top and then you're just going to rub. So I'm just rubbing that. So this is why you want your paper to be dry. So if you're going to make a bunch of these, you know, make sure you do them and, and give them a couple hours, right, to, to dry fully. I like to do things if I know I'm, things have to dry or, or sit up. I like to do them the night before. I need to wash my hands. Don't let me forget so I don't get it everywhere. I like to do it the night before. And then I just sit it out all night and it's good for me the next day. All right. Then peel it off. Now you have your shark here. Now I'm going to wipe my hands really quick. Hold on because I got Bermuda on them when I was doing the um, brush. So I don't want to um, 
smear that, okay? All right, so I wiped my hands. Wipe my hands. All right, so there's still a little bit of ink on here. So I'm just kind of getting that off. I don't want to move this because if I want to make a bunch of cards, it's already in place. So then I'm going to put my card back like that. And I'm going to put my little handy dandy magnet on there. Then I'm going to ink up my shark. And stamp it on here. And now we have the mirror image. Oh, that's why you use the jig. Hang on a minute. Let me move this. This is a little bit too thick. It's a little bit too thick. That's why you use your stamparatus. It's not a jig. All right, hold on. There you go. Ta-da! This was too close. All right. So that looks good. Now I'm going to set it over here so it can dry. Then I'm going to put this behind me on my table. And then we can finish playing with our card. So I had a lot of fun with... Let me get a Kleenex. Hold on. All right, I don't breathe proper. I get too excited. Oh my gosh, I just get too excited when I stamp. All right, so I don't breathe, right? And then my nose runs. Okay, so let me get a grid sheet. And then we're going to color our sharks. So many times I stamp one. So yeah, so see, we have our two little sharks now. All right. So now we're going to color our little sharkies. So, I'm using, let's see, I pulled out some brand new gray granites, but let's try the ones that are getting low before I try the new ones. Okay, so we're going to go light gray granite, and I'm going to color right over the blue, because it's just going to give them a little bit of a blue color underneath. And, and that's super cool for like the sharks. Now, really I would have normally let this dry a little longer before I started coloring it. But we're gonna see how it does. All right, so I am just, this is the light gray granite. And then I'm gonna go like this. So I'm gonna leave a little bit a blue above her eye because this is the girl and doesn't it look like they're playing footsies look at they're playing footsies right there all right so then and what's cool is you can still kind of see the speckles underneath there so it's super cool Super, super cool. All right, so again, this was the light gray granite. And then, where's my dark, the dark gray granite? Let me scooch down just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of the dark right here. A little dark here. In the little fin area or whatever I call it, the breathing areas, whatever you call that, vents, I don't know. I'm a stamper, I'm not a marine biologist. All right, so that looks good. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the light just to cut down some of those lines a little bit. Oh, and you know what, I forgot this fin over here. But I don't want them to be identical. 
So this was the light gray granite and the dark gray granite. But when I do the guy, I want him to be smoky slate. So where's my light smoky slate? So I want him to be just a little bit darker. So they're not twins. I mean, they're twins in regards to being a mirror image of each other. But I don't want their coloring to be identical. So this is just a light smoky slate. And then I'll use the dark smoky slate like I did with the gray. And I will not leave anything above his eye because he does not have any mascara on or eyeshadow. All right. Love it. Okay. And then the little fin. And then I'll take my dark. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the gray. I'm just going to add a little bit dark here. Here. Under here. His fin. And around his nose area. And you can add more or less. I don't want to take your day up doing this. Okay. So then add a little bit of the light just to soften the edges. Like I did on the other one. There. Okay. So there's my two. Now if you wanted, you could even take your pool party. Where is my pool party? So dark pool and light pool and you could do the same thing so this is just a light pool but I'm not going to color the whole thing in because it already has that pool party in there I just want to change it a little bit so it's different from the background and then they don't look like see-through And then I'll do the same for the guy. So I'm just adding a little bit here and there. And if you want, you could use the dark as well. But I'm just doing the light just for time, time purposes. Okay, so what we want to do is, so I'm going to make this card for my Mr. Sharky. Mr. Gibbs, my cutie patootie. Okay, so I need, I need to put a little may, um, eyelash on my girl. Okay, so this shark set is so stinking cute. They thought of everything. So it actually has a little, um, oh, let, oh, refresh. So I'm going to refresh too as well. I keep forgetting to look up. So... Um, Facebook is not always my friend. All right, so it looks good on my phone. So I can never, I can't control what it does on once it gets on the Facebook for the live. Okay, so then we're going to put a little eye, eyebrow, eyelash on my girl. So she's got that cute little eyelash. Look at that. All right. We also want to give her some lips. Even though I don't wear lipstick, my shark is going to have it on. So I'm using Poppy Parade. And I'm going to put a little lip right there. So she's got some lipstick on there. She's ready to pucker up and kiss the hubby. All right. Then... I get my mento back out. I'm also going to put some jewelry on her. So this is just a cute little necklace. So that goes here. So I've got a little bit of jewelry on. It's just so fun. Oh my gosh. All right. What else do I have? All right. 
I have all these little things out. I want to put the greeting underneath. So I'm just going to use my Poppy Parade. Make sure that it looks good before I put it on the card. Okay. So I love you. So that's going on there. I love you. All right. Let's see. What else do I got? All right. So then I also, it has that die, remember? So then I also did some pieces of the die. So the die has these cute little, um, like, leaf things that would be underneath the, the, um, C. So that will go on there. And here. This one I will probably have go off. All right. Then we have the purse. Remember, I used these cute purses with the chickens. We have the cute little hat. We have some fish. So it even has some fish. Look at that. So we have our little school of fish. So I think I'm going to put them kind of like in the seaweed stuff. Now, I don't know about your cutie patootie spouse, but mine has a mustache. So, where's my glue dots? Is it looking cute? Even though, I hope it sure straightens up when it processes. When it processes, it fixes things. So the replay will probably be better than the live. And I really don't know. I really don't know how to fix it. But okay, so we're going to give Mr. Gibbs a mustache. So here he's got his cute little mustache. All right, so let me move these little guys out of the way. She needs a hat and a purse because this is after COVID and she's gonna go shopping. All right, so we're gonna put a little hat. Let me scoot. Oh, it's not even the middle of summer. And let me just tell you, um, the fan under the desk ain't cutting it with all these lights on. I'm sweating up a storm. Okay, so we are going to use our mango on the hat. Now remember, the mango blends is retiring, so you want to make sure you grab some of those. And then where's my saffron? So I want to finish with, with the saffron. Just to add that color. I'm going to grab my poppy because that's what I did the lips, just so it kind of all coordinates. So I'm going to put a little bit of poppy. I want my purse to have a little bit of poppy as well because she is coordinated. Well, you need to make sure you grab this set because it's got such fun little things that you can use in other sets because they're small enough. I did them with the chickens. I added some cute stuff to the chickens. Okay, so there's her purse covered, her little things. We got a color. Oh, this is what I want to do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So these are what I showed you the other day. Remember? So let's see. Let's see. Can I put this on there? Because this, I think, is too big. Yeah, that's too big. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I will set that aside. All right, because this is just me going, I'm going rogue, right? Okay, so let's get the um, magenta for the flower. So we're going to put our flower. It's going to be a little bit of a different color, a little brighter pink. So magenta. like that all right 
Holy moly, it is 200 degrees in here. Okay, so this looks good. So let's start to glue. Now, keep in mind what I said the, the measurements of this is, is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is actually a quarter of a card. So I'm not gonna make it into a card because I probably will end up trimming it down a little bit. But just for the day, like just for the video, I'm just gonna keep going, okay? I'm just gonna keep going because Mr. Gibbs will not care what size card this is. All right, and I'm just gonna give it to him. So if I was gonna make this and send it, I would trim it down. But since I'm just gonna hand it to him, I'll just make it be a little bit of a bigger card. So, cause remember, it's like half. So we have our cute little, um, I don't know if that's seaweed. Would that be seaweed? I don't know. That doesn't really look like seaweed, but it's leaves under the, under the, uh, under the whatchamacallit. Under the sea. Under the sea. I don't know that song. All right. Then we have the solid one. It's so cool because it, it cuts two different styles. All right. So I want it to kind of overlap. And I want them to kind of be in there. Hang on, hang on. I want them to be kind of in the seaweed. Get stuck. And then over here. So there's not a whole lot to glue. I don't want to get too much glue on it. All right, so then this one's going to be over here. And you could even have one like be up here, right? Like they're way down deep in there hiding. All right, so I'm just gonna leave three because uneven is more pleasing to the eye and I'll do something with that later. All right, so let's get our little fishies. So, and they're super tiny. Where is my pick tool? Where's my pick tool? All right, so I'm gonna put these little fish are over here. So one, two, three. We've got our little fish. Here, here, and here, swimming around. All right, so let me, I'm gonna flip this over because it's got glue on it now. I should have used my grid, my silicone, but it's on my mat. All right, so I need a hat and I'm gonna use a glue dot for the hat as well as the purse. And I'm gonna get my gel pen. Oh, too funny, Raquel. Oh, Jeff and I, we got married in 84. So a long time. I have to, I'm gonna tell him that. Mr. Diana Gibbs, <laughs> he's going to um, love that. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna give me a purse, give me a purse, give me a hat. And they even have a hat for the guy. What did I do with the stamp set? Hold on a minute. They even have, they have the bow, because remember I used the bow the other day. They have, um, oh, the hats on the die. The hat's on the die. So see, it's got like a little hat there and a cane. Or what would be funny, you could even make it look like it's, um, what are those things you breathe out of? Remember the other day I said that this looked like um, a mask? So wouldn't it be fun to mix this and this together and then put it on there and it would look like they have like a breathing tube? 
Anyways, all right, so it's got some cute, look at it, it's got a tie, so I might add some more stuff to Mr. Gibbs. But anyways, and some bubbles, it's got waves. So, I just didn't do tons. All right, so I do want to make her have a little bit of color on her necklace. So a little bit of color there. And I think I may add um, like a tie or something to Mr. Gibbs, although he does not wear ties. I wanna put a little bit of dark around that vent area. But, so isn't that fun? I know, um, you know, I didn't like make it a card card yet, but, um, so I'm just going to mount it on something bigger and then just give them a bigger card because it is too cute. I need to move this just a little bit so you can see the, the eye. Ha ha ha. And then I'll trim, trim these little things, but. So, but anyways, so that is how you do the mirror technique. And basically that stamp apparatus makes it so easy because you can see, right? Like I needed to, um, now that was user error because I put the magnet in the wrong spot. But if you do, you need to like um, re-ink, then, then it's already in its place. So, um, and I'm trying to think what I did. So this is, this was me playing earlier. So this is, was me playing earlier. And then, so it does have these bubbles. So if you don't do that alcohol thing, you could do the bubbles. But I love the, um, the, the kind of natural bubbles that the alcohol did. So, I love it. I do love it. It is so fun. But thank you for um, challenging me, Jackie. And um, so anytime you have a request, I would, um, so look, so see, this is cool too. So this would be cute. Um, it almost looks like a, a um, like the sky, you know, like you're looking up into the clouds and stuff. So, but I love doing that with the, just spritz it with the alcohol or the water and just see what happens. So, um, anyway, so there you go. There's the fun little thing. I will um, finish it and then I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture um, in the group, okay? And then, um, anyway, so thank you so much for, um, for, for joining me today. I will have, I hope you have a good weekend. We have um, the Over the Border Sweet Ice Cream virtual class tomorrow. I have one class packet with a stamp set and the um, punch left. So if you are local, you wanna holler at me cause then you can come and grab it. So then you would be all set for the Zoom tomorrow. Um, but just one of those left. Anyways, so I will see you, um, if you're doing the, the virtual class, we will see you tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, um, Arizona time. And that's in um, a private Zoom link for those registered for class. Otherwise, I will see you a Monday for my Mimeograph Monday, and that is at 11 o'clock um, Arizona time on my YouTube channel. So if you have anything that you want to um, see me case from the catalog, you want to uh, make sure you let me know. Um, let me know as soon as you can um, so that I have time to um, figure it out and, and um, you know, so I'm not like, what? You know, kind of thing on Monday. So anyways, um, have a good weekend, everyone. And I will um, see you later. Bye for now.